See you. Wait. Tell me about the, that mask you're wearing. Yes, it is. Supplied by our colleagues in Water's Edge. We may be practitioners of necromancy, but that does not mean we have to stand the intolerable stench which comes with its study. Oh, I it see. certainly has prevented a fair bit of fainting on my end. Not that I would actually faint, mind you. Just an expression. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. There it is, that golden spire that we saw from the distance. There's something here that the Synod needs us to check out. Frostcrag Spire. After a zombie appeared in the Bruma Synod Conclave, the chapter head, Cadius Venusius, decided he had to act. He sent me to Frostcrag Spire, the suspected location of these items' origin, to find whoever is responsible and put a stop to it. Alright, let's go. This is quite a fancy door. All right, Nematis, here we go. Hmm. This is impressive. Hello. Oh there, Traveler. What's your business in Frostcrack Spire? I could ask the same question. As you can see, I am here with a college reclamation team. Frostcrack Spire has been claimed, under Imperial Doctrine, as a transient College of Whispers Sinusure. We are trying to discover anything of magical interest in this spire. So, again, I ask you, what your business here is? I'm here on behalf of the Synod. The Synod? The Synod have no right to this place. This is soon to be a fully-fledged College of Whispers Sinusure. I am quite bewildered at this turn of events. As you can see, I am here with a College Reclamation team. We are trying to discover anything of magical interest in this spire. What are you here for? I'm trying to solve a mystery. Mystery? What kind of mystery? Strange items have been appearing in the Conclave. We think they came from here. Well, I can assure you that we are in no way responsible. <clears throat> On second thought, I'm not so sure. The only thing I can say is to check with Master Astor Astentius here in the Sinusure. Something tells me he might have something to do with your little mystery. Well, thank you for being candid. Right, Nematis. Let's see what's going on here. What, what kind of mask is that you're wearing? I'm rather busy with my work. Try one of the others around here. You seem on edge. Do I? Well, maybe it's because I have my hands full trying to help establish a sign ashore atop an oversized frozen rock. Do you think that has anything to do with it? You aren't the only one. Mine simply happened to comprise most of the stressful busy work necessary to get this place into shape. Funny that, eh? See you. Wait. Tell me about the, that mask you're wearing. Yes, it is. Supplied by our colleagues in Water's Edge. We may be practitioners of necromancy, but that does not mean we have to stand the intolerable stench which comes with its study. 
Oh, I he certainly has prevented a fair bit of fainting on my end. Not that I would actually faint, mind you. Just an expression. Okay, so it's a, some sort of a breathing mask. That makes sense. What are you working on? Cataloging. You don't need to know the details. The College of Whispers would not be named as such if we continually blurted out our findings to passerby. Until next time. Yes, as you were. All right, Nematis. I'm not sure exactly what we're looking for. I mean, I guess we're here to speak to someone? stairs here? Okay, it's a ramp. Oh, an enchanting table. Can I help you? of mage light college of whispers robes they've certainly made themselves at home all right they've claimed all this A dryad saddled polypore. Never heard of that. We've stopped. What is it? Just examining things. And what is this? Okay, this will take us to the tower. And is this also something? No. Alright, so I think we need to use... Oh my goodness, look up there. Look at the writing. And it's glowing. Oh, this is amazing. Alright, I'm sorry. Um, yes, let's go to the tower. Aster, you have to be more careful. We don't want anyone getting hurt in this experiment. Be calm, my dear. Be calm. We don't even know if the thing is sending anything through. We have yet to send anyone to check the destination site. For all we know, the blasted creature could be in pieces all over the Geralds. But a zombie? What if it did go through and somebody gets hurt? We can't have that happen, Aster. We need live tests. Oh. But I see your point. Very well. We'll do it your way. Well, thank you. I just hope it didn't cause too much of a panic over there already. Well, I would say that it did. You there, Esther. How are you feeling? How goes your research? What? Fine, fine. Don't worry about me. The vault portal still has yet to yield to me. But don't you worry. I'll find a way. Glad to hear it. Keep up the good work. Esther. Hmm. Who are you? Have we met? No, we haven't. But did you know that strange items are appearing in the Bruma Synod Conclave? They are. Fascinating. It works, then. Simply wonderful. What works? Why, the Spire's portals, of course. You know, the ones I've spent the past few days slaving away at, tweaking, in an attempt to get the damn things to work properly. So, tell me, were the objects intact? I need you to stop your experiments. Really? Why would you go and ask a thing like that of me? You must understand. If we are to implement our own teleportation platforms in our signatures, this is vital research. Why don't you aid me? It would help speed up the process greatly, and I could finish the testing stage in no time.
Well, if it stops zombies from appearing in the Conclave, I'll help. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Follow me. What is all this? All right, Aster, what's going Are on? Are you ready for what awaits you? Nomadis, stop pushing. What is it you need? What I need is to genuinely test these portals out and get them calibrated. I can't fix a problem I don't know exists, after all. First, though, I need you to place a marker at the destination site. This ancient thing is set to send people to the old Bruma Mages Guild, which is now the home of the Synod in Bruma. Here's the beacon. I hid it inside this boot here. Just put it in the main hall. With it in place, I'll hopefully be able to focus the portal's trajectory directly to the beacon's location before you test this thing. Did you just say I was testing it? I certainly said no such thing. At least not yet. Now, get a move on. The Synod might not like it if they suspect you are helping us out. But you already knew that. So I'll see you back here when you're done. Oh, I almost forgot. And it's not like me to forget, so I'd best tell you before I forget again. Bruma's quite the long walk from here. Um, I already knew that. And what are you getting at? Excellent question, Carlin. Allow Carlin. me to tell you. I can teleport you to Bruma. Oh, yes. The glistening frozen city high atop the Gerald Mountains, if my memory serves. And I believe it does. Traditionally, teleportation magic uses a focus. That's what the boot is for, to focus the magic. To make sure we end up precisely where we intend to. It's also why, throughout Tamriel's history, mages have employed mark and recall spells, invocations of divine intervention and the like. However, I believe I've perfect... well, nearly perfected, mostly, a spell to teleport you to an imprecise location. That means I can teleport you to Bruma with a simple flick of my wrist, Expedite your journey, and a lot of fun on the way, I'd expect. However, as I alluded to, I can't send you to any particular location in Bruma. Imprecise magic. So no direct travel to the Conclave, I'm afraid. Still, the theory behind the spell is sound. Mostly, I think. So if you want me to teleport you to Bruma, now, or, well, any time, just let me know. Hmm. Well, first of all, who is Carlin? What do you mean, who's Carlin? <laughs> Stop being ridiculous, and let's get back to our research already. So you really think I'm Carlin? What can you tell me about the College of Whispers? They've been my family for most of my life. Don't you listen to wild rumor or those devious synod mages either. College is not some rogue sect of necromancers, or some secret hoarding gathering of rabble. No, we simply try to keep the people of Tamriel safe from their worst enemy, their own ignorance. We keep the most dangerous knowledge and magic away from the public and in the hands of those who wish to devote themselves to its practice. That way, the real threats to society are powerless. Those who simply wish to learn the arts, all of them, can do so freely and without constriction. All right, I've seen a display of teleportation magic earlier. I didn't know that people were starting to master it here in Cyrodiil. And I think as a former Archmage and Dragonborn, it's something that I need to turn my attention to. So go ahead then, so I can learn. 
Teleport me to Bruma. Always a pleasure to help you out, Carlin. Oh, Lord. Steal yourself. It's Zoltan. This may feel a bit... Zoltan! All right. Here we go. Prepare yourself. All right, Nomadis. I guess I'll see you later. I don't know if he's gonna teleport both of us. Oh, no! And so, Skyrim's new favorite folk hero chooses to grace us with their presence. Oh, the Dragonborn. Now more again? The burdens of fame weighing you down? Well, don't worry. I assure you, you'll receive no special treatment from me. Good. Heal wounds, restore willpower, regain your energy. Potions for sale here. Those robes are interesting. Oh, you must be one of those Winterhold mages from Skyrim. Yes, I am. And you there, Armian, I'm hearing a lot oh, about look, you. An infant. And so, Skyrim's oh, new favorite folk hero chooses to grace us with their presence. The Dragonborn, I presume. The burdens of fame weighing you down? Well, don't worry. I assure you, you'll receive no special treatment from me. Ah, so you're the welcoming committee, is that it? A joker, too. Wonderful. Yet another troublemaker for us to keep an eye on. At least if your attempts at sardonicism weren't quite so... posturing. Many before you have thought themselves invincible. Above the Thalmor, above the Dominion, above their precious empire and its laws. Its concordats. They now find themselves hanging from trees. Their decrepit husks wasting away amidst near endless blizzard. Enjoy your stay in this fair city. Mm, it sounded like a threat. Bye. We'll what see. Is we'll see if that smug you look need something. doesn't get wiped off your face. All right, it's gonna take Nematis on. What? Nematis! So he teleported you too, okay. <laughs> I was just thinking it was gonna take you a long time to get here. Um, we need to go to the Synod, come on. Why you're leaving a boot on the floor? I certainly hope this is an unorthodox investigation method, and not simply you messing up my conclave. Hmm? Until next time. Yeah, I guess you don't have anything interesting to say. Alright, so the boot is here. And they're gonna leave it alone, that's good. The zombie is still here, too. Hmm, it was so frightening to see something like this teleported into our midst, attacking us. All right, let's go. All right, so where is it I need to go from here? All right, I have to return back to him. Alright, so Aster, I'm back. Robes! Are you ready for what awaits you? So now what is it you need me to do? Now that I've made every adjustment I can think of to assure its proper function, I need only one thing. Step onto the teleportation pad. If it works, then not only will you have aided me in this first essential test, you will have stopped any further items from appearing in the Conclave. Simply step onto the pad when you're ready. All That's right. the spirit. The arcane arts can never make any progress if nothing is risked. Take this with you. 
If you make it through in one piece, don't bother returning to me. This'll let me know you made it. So, whenever you're ready... Well, this sounds kind of scary. All right, Nematis. I'm going back to Bruma in case, um, we get separated. Here we go. I, I did it. And Nematis, you're here too. What in oblivion are you doing? I guess he did it. Um, Cadius? So far, it seems to have stopped. Let's hope it stays that way. I've put an end to the disruptions. Indeed? What happened? What was causing it? College of Whispers mages were experimenting with a portal. I stopped it. Whispers! Curse those careless, undisciplined necromancers! This time their experiments endangered my conclave. But I'm curious how you think teleporting through it would have disrupted the thing. Still, no zombies, nor any other displaced objects for that matter, have appeared in the conclave since you left. So I suppose it stands to reason that you are being truthful. Hmm, well, I suppose we'll see. Your service merits reward. Please accept this sum of coin from the Synod's coffers. Now, good day to you. here I guess or should I take it I'm gonna leave it okay so I need let me see hold on yeah we have to go back and get our reward come on hello who are you? Have we met? What? That man, is he's lost his mind. Come on. I... Who am I? He just sent... I did those tests for him. Ravel! Yes? What is your business here? Why are you people acting like you've never seen me before? This is ridiculous. I helped Aster repair the portal. Oh. You were the one, eh? I heard about that. Good work. Ah, I suppose you're probing for a reward for your service. Let's see here. Ah, yes. Take this. It's an old dagger my team found in one of the ruins during our journey here. The things are fairly common in alien ruins, so the college won't miss it. Has a nifty enchantment, though. Thanks. Hmm, an alien dagger. Okay. Where is this noisy Nern root? Oh, there. Those things can be terrible. All right, Nematis. I think we're gonna have to find somewhere to sleep tonight because it's such a long uh. trip to get back to Bruma. Okay, well, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Yeah.